So this is the prototype I built, but one of the problems we had with the prototype is that when the lines got long, it got really annoying. Uh, there were times when you would have to set up, you know, lots of these pipes on the side, and for every time you wanted to change them, you'd have to hit change, you know, four or five times to get to the right one, and then you'd have to click on the pipes to make the pipes right. Um, and it got to be really quite uh, a chore. So one of my priorities was to fix that. So I've replaced that toggle click, the cycle click, with this change option. This pops up a menu that you can choose to buy from, and the menu is different for each level. Uh, so you can actually look at the things if you wanted to know more details about them, like this. Microwave Klystron, particle accelerator you made out of discarded microwave ovens and an overclocked smartphone. Um, extra power for hungry accelerators. So you can see that you can see what you're getting, and you just click on it and then you buy it. You don't have to uh, press cycle a whole bunch. But one of the annoying things was that some of the some of the pipes were always not configured the way you wanted them to, especially in the later levels where you had sensors and such. Uh, it could get very annoying to keep reconfiguring them. So what I've done is you can buy custom, and that will simply buy the last uh, the last one of these that you placed. Again, including the pipe configuration. See? Up, oh, and this one couldn't output. So you get a nice fast warning about that. But we are moving at 110 MeV, which is enough for our one-wire klystron, a slightly more heavy-duty klystron. Oh, we got the wrong kind of wire, though, so let's change it out for five-wire power cabinet. See how much easier it is to do it like this? Now we've got our klystron running. And, of course, we can set it up so that we can cycle those waters in again. Oh, there it is. I don't know whether or not this one will actually survive. I think the water might be too hot. That looks okay. And there is our... Oh, we've got uh, too many too many of these. Let's go ahead and pull those cables. I've adjusted the pull position so that it no longer... Um, previously it was kind of an awkward thing and now it now it's uh, quite nice. It just kind of works uh, where it is. You don't have to, to try and see through it anymore, which is nice. And you can see that we now... Oh, it's too hot over here at the lead collider. And there's no cooling for it, which means that our only real option here is to detach this hot water and use some ice cold water and try and get the temperature down all around. I can see the Kelvin slowly going down here. Well, anyhow, you get the point. Uh, this is a whole lot easier to use than it used to be. And uh, I'm hoping that just by making a lot of slow little corrections like that, I can make the game a lot more fun. Um, I'm not uploading these uh, fixes live, but I will be uploading a better version of the game probably Friday. Um, definitely sometime over the weekend you'll be able to play it, if you want.